Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC12 in Salt Lake City. We're here at the SGI booth. I'm here with the CMO of SGI, Franz Mann. Franz, let's start at the beginning. Who is SGI and who do you help? Yeah, hi Rich, thanks for having me on the program. So, yeah, who is SGI? Uh, we're providing technology to the people who actually need high-end performance computing, speed and scale. So it's about the scientists, the data analysts, the engineers, uh, who have really tough questions and uh, we help them finding the answers. That's what we do. So we provide compute, storage, software, services, everything for a complete solution. Okay, so as part of that, as part of that compute piece, now a lot of uh, uh, users are looking to accelerators to get more performance for less energy. Part of that, this week we had the Intel Xeon Phi was announced. And you guys have a solution there as well, do you not? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, really proud and happy to be part of Intel's announcement. Uh, so, yeah, Intel Xeon Phi is a big topic today, but we've been in it for a long time. So we've been a very early technology partner and uh, worked very closely with Intel on how to not just deploy Intel Xeon Phi in a box, a system, but whole landscapes and how do, we, how do you get the most out of it. So we've worked with Intel for the last couple of years and very proud to say that today we're actually supporting the Intel Xeon Phi across all of our product lines. So it's the lower end uh, SGI rackable, very flexible, configurable scale out systems. It's the HPC um, SGI Ice X cluster. And it's also the SGI UV, which is our big brain computer. So that's our big scale up SMP machine. So you guys offer this across the line. Let's, can you tell me more about the user? Who, who is this for? As a co-processor, it, it, it kind of it's, it's it's married to the Xeon, right? It doesn't live by itself. And and who would want who would want that? And how, how would they get benefit? Right. Sure. So there's a lot, just in terms of algorithm, where you have bits and pieces of your programs uh, that are extremely small but very parallel. So we see some of these problems in biosciences where you have small gene fragments that you need to look at. And we see that, of course, in uh, simulation and modeling, uh, where you then also want to uh, work on very fine-grained, very embarrassingly parallel problems. Uh, but we also see the need to combine that capability and the horsepower of the compute at the small power footprint with high memory requirements. So, you know, how do you get the best of all these worlds? And it's a sliding scale, right? So one of the things we're doing is, and you can see that here, we're putting the Xeon Phi into a SGI UV blade, and we couple it with a Xeon blade, as you said, it's one uh, mic coupled with one um, traditional Xeon uh, CPU, but the Intel Xeon Phi has access to the entire memory space on the UV, which can be up to 64 terabytes of main memory. So that's a very unique offering. Then. That's a very unique offering. And you know, this is, this is the kind of technology that um, we're bringing to market and we believe is really, truly unique and differentiated. There's no other system on the planet where you can have a single system image with standard Linux that goes all the way to 64 terabytes and 4,096 cores, and now you can add uh, Intel Xeon Phi's in it. So I know it's early, the, the product just came out this week, but have you had any beta users and you got any kind of feedback from people about Xeon Phi and how easy it is to use or how, yeah, how'd that go? Absolutely, and of course they appreciate the fact that it's an existing programming model that they are familiar with, so they can simply move on to having more cores using the same programming model, simply doing a recompile. We have shipped systems already uh, with uh, Intel Xeon Phi, and some of our early customers, they've also spoken at the Intel announcement, uh, NASA and Cosmos, uh, Stephen Hawking's uh, computing team, uh, they both are early customers of the Xeon Phi uh, processor. And uh, yeah, so we've, we've been very active and we have been shipping. Well, terrific, so in, in this case, you know, this is part of the UV blade. Is this literally a plug and play kind of solution if you have that chassis already? Yeah, it's, it's very much a plug and play. So, the UV consists out of small chassis where every one of the chassis can hold eight of these blades. And in every one of these blades, you can have one traditional Xeon uh, processor and uh, also one Xeon Phi processor.